Hey guys, welcome to Baking with Nupur at Baker's Delight. Today I'll be showing you a video on how to make edible fabric. Yes, <laughs> edible fabric. I tried it for the first time and it worked wonderful. I'm so happy with the outcome that I just had to make this video and share with all of you how to make edible fabric. So I'll just show you the ones that I made. It's inverted but it says baking with Nupur at Baker's Delight and you can just see how soft this is. It's, it just feels like a cloth. You know, I just couldn't believe that this is so cloth like. I, My daughter just mistook this to be real cloth. Can you believe that? I mean, that's the best compliment you could get. And if you can see, it's super stretchable. I'll show you another one with glitter. This is a really shiny one. This is beautiful, guys. If you want to drape it on your wedding cake or um, fancy cakes, uh, it's beautiful. Just see how stretchable this is. I mean, it's beautiful, guys. And it's, it's like, it's just like a cloth. I mean, I, I just told my daughter, I'm gonna drape this lace on your dress and then you can eat it. <laughs> Just look at this lace it's beautiful we've all made uh, edible laces before with uh, the lace uh, powder or uh, some other method but this as a lace is beautiful can you see? I really hope that you like them but before you start watching I want you to subscribe to my channel and uh, hit that bell icon thank you so let's begin first on a silicon mat i've taken two wafer sheets one is plain and the other one i've drawn on i've also taken a lace mat here a brush some luster dust glycerin and some corn flour to dust the main is this gelatin and water so first we've taken 25 grams of um, gelatin and we are going to mix in 50 grams of water. It's just room temperature water. I'm just going to mix this through. And we are going to set this aside for 10 minutes. That's it. Now we'll keep this. After 10 minutes you'll see that it's firmed up. Just check the consistency here. And we'll microwave it for 30 seconds. Now once you've microed it, you'll see a lot of froth on top. So just skim them off. All the froth that you can see. That's it. Now we're going to add 2 tablespoons of glycerin in this. just two tablespoons that's it and now we're gonna mix this nicely take the uh, wafer sheet and uh, just brush on top of it we're gonna brush it on both sides so first just brush this nicely on one side flip it off and brush again I'm going to do the same thing with my plain sheet as well. And we're going to leave it off to um, dry off for 10 minutes. Flip and brush. That's it. Now I'll just take some white color and mix it. And we're going to put this on the lace mold just make sure you cover all the uh, bits and knocks and everything and clean it off with the spatula and now we're just gonna leave all of this to dry off for 10 minutes so after 10 minutes you can just take a knife and you know scrape off the edge 
just cut the gelatin that's uh, you know covering your silicon mat yeah just like that i've already cut these and now i'm just gonna take the corn flour and uh, dust the one that i drew on there just take little at a time and you can just you know brush it flip it just gently gently pick it up flip it off and brush again take off the excess and you can take a clean cloth and you know just rub it off the excess and just see oh my god wow that looks beautiful now i'm just gonna do the same thing but this time with the luster dust so i'll just flip this also and we are going to dust the other side as well take the excess off now as you can see my workstation is getting really messy but that's my mistake because i was working with the fan on guys so don't repeat the mistake turn off your fan when you're working with um, all of them and see just like that i took took the lace off as well but very gently and thank you for watching guys i hope this really helped you